Hi guys. Um, so as I mentioned, lost my head. Went for a, a bit of a powerful spindle. And I wanted to see really how it compares to uh, the likes of the DeWalt. Um, so I went for a 2.2 kilowatt spindle. Um, now a lot of people said this is probably a bit of overkill, but you know, power, can't go wrong there. So what I've done is just want to see actually how the machine's gonna handle it and if it can, um, because there's a, a big difference in size. So if I just reach in behind here, there's the DeWalt spindle, so a six double one router. I think it weighs about two kilos. Um, and in comparison, a 2.2 kilowatt spindle is a little bit bigger. And I say a little bit, I mean a, a lot. It's kind of cool actually. It's a bit of a beast. So that weighs five kilos. It's pretty hold, hard to hold with your arm outstretched. Side by side, you can see. The, well, not very well, but it's bigger. It's heavier. It's probably pretty mean as well. Um, you know, side by side, they're pretty chunky monkeys. So I'll just bring that along the front there so we can have a look and compare the two. So there's a DeWalt. Oh, it is heavy. I've weighed it, it's five kilos. It almost broke my scales. But you can see that, you know, realistically with tool length, it's probably a good three or four inches longer. Sorry, without tool length, it's a good two or three inches longer. I mean, you stick that there, maybe almost six. So that's gonna be a bit of a problem for me, because my enclosure only caters for the DeWalt. So I've got a mill, a lower height and do some flatter stuff or upgrade my enclosure so uh guess what i'm doing next weekend anyway point of the video was to see how it handles and how the shapiko actually handles it so as you know you know works really really well with the dewalt 611 um and to put that there and what i'm going to do is load it in the spindle obviously can't mount it into the, the bracket but there he is he's on the bracket there and uh, in fairness, it's not, it's not moving around. It's not it's not doing anything silly. So what we just do is move it uh, left and right and see what happens. Um, just put the DeWalt one at the back. My God, that feels so light in comparison. So we do a little bit on the Z axis. I've just got it on fast movement. But let's, let's slow it down just to see how it copes. And then we go a bit faster after. So we use Z and just see how Z copes. <laughs> making sure it doesn't fall off. I feel like it's struggling. Uh, moving up and down and right. So we do a bit of left and right, or X. Again. Doesn't really feel like it's struggling now. The B wheels are moving. I've got no, no doubt it will compress them somewhat. And we use the uh, Y axes as well, again. I mean, it doesn't look like it's struggling. It's pretty cool, actually. So we're just gonna ramp up the speed there and see what happens. So we're gonna go first uh, left to right. Feels nice and smooth. Both B wheels are moving. Ooh, go a bit right now. Absolutely no problems. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty confident, actually. That's gonna be absolutely fine. I mean, it's, it doesn't seem like it's struggling at all, to be honest. Maybe the additional weight will help. We just do the Z axis just for. Seems all right. So um, I'll pull that off for the time being. <coughs> oh, it is a beast. So on top of that, I've got to do something about this bracket. So that's tiny. And um, so there's the standard one. Here's my new one. As you can see, it's almost a width for the Z plate. It's pretty beefy. Weighed this, it also weighs um, a kilo. So I don't know what that weighs, but I imagine that's probably around a few hundred grams, maybe 200 grams. I think a DeWalt router weighs about two kilos. So let's say maximum. 
I'll be maximum, we're looking two and a half kilos. All in. There's 2.2 kilo a monster. Six kilos plus water. So um, it, it is significantly heavier. I don't know what's going to happen when we fit it. Pretty sure it's going to be cool there. Right, anyway, that's enough for me for this video. This is the pre-fit. Again, monster spindle, power, because we all like power. And hopefully that's going to help me with some of the work I do on aluminium. And, you know, power. And so when I upgrade to my XXL, or when I, when I can afford to do that, extra power. And we like power. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's it. Cheers.